We all know as customer experience professionals that listening and interpreting what our customers tell us every day, every moment is the most important thing we can do. And that's because our customers leave us signals all along their journey. And mastering those signals becomes the most important way we can deliver differentiated value in every interaction. This is no more important than it is today in the COVID-19 period where everything is changing. Our customer experiences are being called into question and we are all being asked to adapt in rapid time. Experiences are everything, we know that. We often know that they're more important than the product or service that we deliver in the end. It's not a nice to have in the COVID-19 period because many of us are having to change almost everything about the way we think about serving and marketing to our customers. How we show up as a brand at a time of dramatic pressure and change for all of our customers is becoming increasingly important. Do we speak with an authentic voice? Are we empathetic to the changes our customers have to go through and how they find our products, how they buy them, how they enjoy them, how they get service on those products? Do we understand the context that we're all operating under and embrace that context as a chance for positive change for all of us? This is the key thing we can do as marketers today to show that we understand where we're operating today and how we can improve the lives of our customers at the same time we deliver them great products and services. What's remarkable about this massive and rapid shift is not that it's happened, we've all seen it happening, it's how quickly it happened to so many different industries. Remote working increased over 400% in a period of 90 days. Jobless claims close to 30 million in the US alone. When was the last time you were on an airplane? Obviously business travel has been dramatically impacted and consumer spending has taken a hit as people have sheltered in place. As Professor Amy Edmondson of Harvard Business School has commented on, the shift has happened in days, not months. And because of that, the amount of agility that's required by businesses across marketing and operational functions is at an all-time high. Customers need to be served, whether it's a public entity or a for-profit business. And because of that, every function in the front office has to learn to move faster than they ever have before. This is truly the case with large cities like LA, the second largest city in the United States, the largest in California, that has experienced a huge increase in citizens who need help. And their ability to distribute relief funds in a timely manner became a top priority during COVID-19. Lucky for LA, the mayor established something known as the Angelinos card in partnership with nonprofits and other companies, Oracle, Apex IT, our partner, TimeTrade, and MasterCard were able to help redesign the entire digital process for applying for and distributing the Angelino card for those who needed it most during this period of time. Over 450,000 applications were received through this new process. Close to 135,000 individuals qualified for Angelino cards and close to 40,000 cards were distributed in a rapid period of time where the marketing teams at the city of Los Angeles working together with their service colleagues were able to redesign a completely digital touchless process for application through delivery of the card. Close to $40 million in relief funds have been distributed through this new process. And what this highlights is when marketing and operational functions come together to redefine the entire customer experience in a time of need, it can happen at record speed, just like the city of LA was able to deliver. One brand that needs no introduction about how they've turned business into a vehicle to help the world is Tom's. Maybe many of you are getting a lot more usage out of your comfortable Tom shoes during this work from home period than you were before. But Tom's has always made it a mission to donate as much as one third of their net profit to causes to help humanity, to help the planet. And during this period of time, 
They found a way to take their loyalty and rewards program, which is powered by Oracle CrowdTwist, and help convert loyalty points into dollars that can be used for these relief efforts. Think about this. Finding a way to actually not only market your brand to the world, but get customers involved through their own purchases of converting loyalty and rewards into help for those around them who need it most. Tom's and the city of LA are great examples of what we have learned during this period. That uncertainty at times like COVID-19 and not knowing how the world will evolve creates a huge opportunity for marketers to drive execution and to define their brand as the kind of company that can help those in need and one that you want to do business with. Brands must maintain this focus on customer centricity more than ever at this time of great change. For business to business brands, their existing customers and making sure they're well served, well cared for is a key part of extending and renewing those customers going into the future. It's now a completely different equation. Do I want to keep doing business with you as a brand during times of uncertainty? And that's why this focus has to be first and foremost for brand marketers today. But without understanding where your customer's coming from, mastering their signals across sales, marketing, commerce, and service, can marketers really understand how to engage most appropriately? How do I develop contextually driven engagement at a time when retention couldn't be more important than it is now? And finally, if you're like the rest of us, none of our budgets have gone up this year. So we as CX leaders have to think about how to do more with less, how to operate in a period of scarcity to be able to deliver customer centricity, unique understanding, and be able to work in an environment with less resource, but more opportunity than ever before. It's really time as marketers to think differently. And so I ask you these three questions. What kind of experience is your brand delivering today? What was it doing before COVID-19? And how has the experience shaped the way your brand can improve its reputation and its affinity with those who matter? Are you creating the kind of experiences that future-proof your business? If you didn't have online capabilities before, now would be a good time to think about building a digital and physical delivery model. What about curbside delivery? What about remote service? What about enabling your technicians with all the tools they need to make every customer interaction matter? These are the kind of questions that not only VPs of service should be asking, but that marketers should be getting in the middle of to make every customer interaction matter. It is a time to think differently. It's a time to think differently for us as well. The good news is that many of our Oracle CX priorities were built to be able to withstand this kind of change and were built with the idea that the world was moving to a hybrid physical and digital model. And so I want to share with you a little bit about these priorities, which we've called the three fundamental tenets of Oracle CX real-time or real-time CX. It starts with a unified platform, which I'll share with you a little bit about how we think about that and why you should care about the unified platform message as a marketer. By enabling all the capabilities in this platform, we are building into every marketing experience be it B2C or B2B, a more guided way of using machine learning and data to help optimize your interaction with your customer every time. And finally, what I call the grand pooba of the CX real-time investments, customer intelligence, being able to better integrate all the signals across every interaction, front office and back office, in a way that you can help guide your customers more effectively. So these are the three pillars of Oracle CX, and I'm going to share with you a little bit about each. First, let's talk about unified platform. Why does it matter? Well, bringing front office and back office processes together enables you to do something you could never do before the cloud, before all of the different interaction points, be it 
things you learn about your customer after they have bought your product, when they raise a service ticket, or interactions that you have with them across the web or in app or through email. You're able to bring all of that together to empower whoever gets to the customer first. What does that mean? Think about a salesperson who today can't go see their customer and needs to have at their fingertips the ability for their Salesforce automation application to suggest the right references, to be able to tell customers stories that matter to them. Think about the service technician called out to fix a problem. How do they know if it's time to be able to sell an, a new product or offer a new service that could help this customer avoid it in the future? Are they trained and enabled with the right knowledge, the right context, the right storytelling, the right pricing and configuration options? What about knowing where that product sits in the supply chain today and how quickly a customer could order it and what procedures are in place for that company to deliver this in a socially distanced, contactless, safe way. Think of the example of serving internal customers. A great example of this is Credit Suisse, who actually just won a Markey Award for delivering superior marketing services to their internal customer base of 40,000 Credit Suisse employees who need to not only know what is the latest innovation and training to be able to do their jobs, but to help promote the stories that matter most to all of the employees to better serve their financial service customer base. Or the need for ERP, pricing, discounting, innovation to be available to marketing and sales professionals. This is the value of unified platform. When you run all of this on an Oracle Gen 2 cloud infrastructure, when you run all of this on a Fusion backend data model, you can bring all these data points, all this intelligence, all this capability together to serve the customer in a completely differentiated way. The Gen 2 Oracle Cloud infrastructure, consisting not only of our new cloud capabilities, our ability to deliver this at dedicated regions, on your own premise, in your own data center, or in the public cloud, leveraging all the same technology enables all of this to happen by integrating these cloud capabilities wherever you are as a customer with next generation application features. Nowhere is this more important than in the case of first responders. And I wanted to highlight a story about Motorola Solutions because this is a technology company that is really on the front lines today. First responders need to have the equipment and the capabilities they need to do their jobs no more so than today, as we all know. And Motorola has to have the flexibility in their pricing model and their delivery model to move from actually selling physical components to delivering a subscription model where first responders can actually rent those services or sign a contract to have those services delivered over periods of time. By putting in place this subscription management solution, Motorola benefits from a unified platform by being able to tie together the front end customer experience, the delivery of the product, the ordering, the marketing with all the availability, pricing and subscription information in the back office. This is the value of doing a rapid business model switch from component level selling to subscription powered by a unified platform. The second core piece of our innovation is around guided experience. And guided experience is really about using the intelligence and the data that we gather from our vast customer touch points to help you understand what the right thing to do at the right time is. An example of this is for the marketer knowing not only what channel do I want to deliver this message, what context do I want to provide about it, what time do I want to interact with my customer, but what's the mode in which they like to operate? Do they just want to have a natural conversation through a digital assistant? Do they want to have a particular way of interacting on their device that I know about that can make it easier for them to find information that they need, leveraging artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities applied against our data sets. Guided experiences turns the marketing world from a vast blasting of messages and a hope that people respond to them 
to a very targeted granular model for guiding one by one your customers through the discovery, the buying, and ultimately the consumption and enjoyment experience. It's a key part of our strategy as we go forward and something that differentiates our marketing solution from many of the competitors that we put this guide by the hand philosophy at the core of developing our products. Think about that in the context of using advanced intelligence. What channel does my customer want to get this? What kind of message do they most respond to? At what time and what sort of interaction helps them get what they need and be able to be introduced to and enjoy the set of products or services that we offer today? That's what the intelligence in our guided experience offers. This is true in digital sales, where salespeople today want to know, in the context of the selling effort, what are the references I can use? Where does my prospect sit relative to prior engagements that I've had? What can I learn from prior reps who came before me? For a long time, SFA systems were built for the manager. I want to be able to audit and see all the activity of my sales reps. But imagine a system built for the salesperson so that today we can use digital sales to bring together all the intelligence from our marketing campaigns in a way that guide new sellers coming on board with all the expertise as if a 30-year veteran was sitting in the cube next to them. And that has been brought together into this digital sales application which helps through guided experience and intelligent application of the data sets we have across the marketing and sales experience. Using guided experience, companies like Hermes, a package delivery company in the United Kingdom, can help use automated digital assistance and guide by the hand experiences to help deflect calls from the call center. In fact, Hermes did such a good job of this that their digital assistant named Holly, who helps deflect close to 40% of calls to the call center, actually gets letters written to her even though she's a digital bot. Let's think about that. Well, not for long because it's a strange concept, but what it shows is that when you use intelligence and guided experiences, you can help deliver best-in-class experiences as a marketer when you're trying to differentiate your brand. And finally, this all comes together because of the emphasis that we've put at Oracle around customer intelligence. We started this with the launch of CX Unity, our customer data platform that brings together unstructured and structured information to fuel real-time CX, both for B2B and for B2C. It's not just a customer data platform sitting in a silo for marketers. It's a customer intelligence platform that delivers personal experiences fit for your industry, understanding the utterances and the particular language and the schema that you need to be able to do your business effectively in financial services, in retail, in hospitality, in manufacturing. Because of this industry-specific focus, we can bring real-time CX in a way that you as a provider and your customer truly understand. A great example of this is our new CX Unity Live Customer Shop Back, which is a cashback rewards program serving over 11 million customers in the Asia Pacific region. They have a unique merchant uh, relationship using affiliate program dollars for merchants to help deliver value to those customers who use their service. And they're integrating a lot of different touch points and a need for a lot of intelligence. What's the merchant doing? What's the provider doing? What is the interaction model of the customer? What kind of rewards do they prefer? And how do they prefer them? They can monitor different type of shopping patterns. For example, knowing that People who look for restaurants typically do it over mobile devices, so they ought to send a message fit for that device versus when you look for travel experiences, you come typically over desktop. Using those kind of insights and customer intelligence, Shopback is able to dramatically differentiate the value of their cashback rewards program 
from that of their competitors. And this is how, as a marketer, you use customer intelligence to differentiate your offering. So what do we all need to do as we move further into this COVID-19 new normal, constantly evolving period? First, we need to know that now more than ever, listening to your customers as they adapt to the world, as they express their preference on how they wanna interact with your brand is more important than ever. As a marketer, you should be thinking beyond your traditional role. CMOs have an opportunity to grab hold of this transformation and help construct and design the system that empowers whoever gets to the customer first so that every interaction is an opportunity to market your brand in a way that helps drive the value of your company moving forward. And finally, marketing has the opportunity to be the change agent. So our call to CMOs is to seize this moment, to take the fate of their business across all customer interaction points into their own hands, choose the future for their own career, their brand, and the industry by helping empower next generation experiences operating on the Oracle CX platform. Thank you and good luck as you all manage your way through this completely unprecedented time in business, but there's a huge opportunity for all of us in CX, and we at Oracle look forward to helping you achieve all your objectives.